Hello and welcome to the last episode of my Arcos Sensor series. Today we're going to have a look at the laptop and the info you get online rather than the app. For me, this is more detailed. I enjoy it more. I don't know if it's because I'm sitting down, but let's let's go. So in the dashboard, look, you get very similar. So I'm gaining one shot. Uh, from a 20 handicap which I should be because at the moment it's telling me I'm 18 handicap gives you your averages 3.9 for a par, par threes 4.2 for the par fours uh, you can add that analysis which I showed you in the app but it uh, again what you need to work on what's helping you um all very similar so in the approach game here as you go into each type you do get just that little bit more detail um, or maybe it's easier for me to to process on on a laptop but um, yeah you know so there's your approach you can go into the short game as well and have a look again my short game is what I'm best at uh because i i've got no distance but you can go in and actually have a look at each individual aspect of your game what i do like that you don't get on the app and we're going to have a look at this let's have a look at the free wood so there's the free wood so what it tells you when i'm teeing off with it <coughs> One in ten, I get on the greens. But look at this dispersion. You don't get this on the app. My dispersion is 33 yards on the the free wood. And when I'm trying to hit it off uh, the tee, you can see not many actually hit the tee there in the middle in green. But it's interesting. Um, and again, we we I've mentioned it a few times. I need to work on my distance. I need to get more distance of a club. Let's have a look at the six iron. Again, it's telling me I, my average is 116. I, look, I, it's short. All, you know, the majority of my shots are short. Uh, but the dispersion is a bit tighter on the six irons. Only 29 yards uh, difference. And there is a bit more green on it. And then if we go to the eight iron, just to have a look, much better, 61% of greens. And if you look at the dispersion, it's gone down to 11 yards. So I'll pretty much nail my eight irons. And then nine irons, just a few yards less. Uh, dispersion is a bit more than the eight iron, but look, quite tight. And uh, over nearly half, sorry, I get on the green. You can, like on the app, look at your individual rounds if you want to, uh, and the the stats are very similar to what I showed you, but let's just, um, should we have a look at the stats on this one? But these are very similar to what I showed you on the app. Um, very similar. As I say, I, I just enjoy sitting in in, um, in front of my laptop. If, if I want to study stuff, I find it easier than on my mobile. Uh, while we're here, I would just like to conclude on what I think of Arcos. I love it. I think the insights it, it gives you is tremendous. I like the fact I'd never need a scorecard. Arcos is my scorecard. Um and yeah, I, I think for high handicappers who want to improve their game, me, it gives you what you need to work on. I know what I need to work on, which is my distance, but also it gives you it in detail. I think the better golfer you become, these stats will also help you, you know, what to go down when you go down the drive, what you're going to drive in range, what you're going to work on, what you're not going to, what you're not going to work on. So yeah, Arcos uh, sensors, yeah, I, I really enjoy them. 
you know, I, I, I uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I couldn't recommend them highly enough. Now, once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and any questions, fire away. I'm going to do a couple of uh, bonus episodes on this series, or maybe just the one more, i.e. my best hole during my Arcos Sensors review. Thank you.